Hello everybody. In this uh, screencast, we're going to look at uh, the latest Android Studio and uh, look at how to set it up uh, and be ready for this course. Okay. All right. So you first go to uh, developer.android.studio, uh, developer.android.com forward slash studio and you download uh, Android Studio. It will download, install and so on. And currently they have a version called Hedgehog. Right. So when you run it, all right, so I installed it already. You run it, and here it is. You'll get something that looks like this. <coughs> we create a new project. But before you create any projects, let's cancel that. So basically, if you go here and you look at settings, Android Studio settings, and in the search, type SDK, SDK, right? SDK, and it will take you here, right? And basically, what you would like to do is to make sure that you have. 14 or 13 android 14 and make sure to check the the source code source code uh, for your it will have the sdk most probably installed but also you need the source code the source code helps the system also with the auto completion of code so i have 14 and i think also i have 13 from previous semesters all right and you click ok it will install and so on all right so now let's create a new project and basically there are so many of them right what i would like you to to uh, to create is an empty views activity right so this one empty views activity all right so click on next and make sure to pick java as the language here you give it a give your application a name let's call it demo app for example and then basically this is the package name so this app has a package the package name is the unique identifier of the app in the store when you submit it and so on it's a reverse domain notation so basically this is example.com uh, so basically com.example and then the name of your app, right? And basically that's it. Uh, make sure that the language is Java, right? And you click on finish. So basically that is going to create an, an app for you, right? And basically also, let's have a look. This is what it looks like now. Here it is. I don't like to make it full screen, but uh, maybe I like to make it uh, uh, occupy my whole screen, but not full screen, but here it is okay so here it is it started it's loading it has to configure the project it has to build the project it has to import all the libraries that are needed in order to create the project right so basically i'm gonna and it will show out of the box you will have uh, an app that is runnable right so now as it is loading and so on let's go in and create an emulator the emulator is needed so that you can run this app on on your machine uh, so basically if you look on the side here there are running devices and if you look up here, this is the device manager. If you don't find the device manager on the side here, you can go to tools and you should be able to find the device manager somewhere here, right? So here is the device manager. Okay. So here is the device manager and then the device manager. I already have a device, but I will remove it. Here it is deleted. All right. Here it is. Basically, there is a plus sign. You click on it and my advice is to pick a small device. And basically you can right now they have uh, small, medium and so on. Uh, let's pick a pixel let's say pixel 3 right and make sure that as you pick it to have the play sign the play sign gives you a play store that is installed in the device and we'll need that in the future all right so uh, maybe a pixel 3 or a pixel smaller screens are better and faster to run on your machine uh, so let's say i will let's pick uh, a medium phone or you can pick a uh, pixel 3a right so that's this one all right next and then it in some cases you will not have all of these you just click on the download and you will be able to download uh, the sdk that is needed to run it so here it is click on finish and then boom i have a device you, there is a play sign i click on it and now it's going to run the device on your machine and make sure that the problem is that it's going to take a little bit of time to run i have a, a little bit faster machine but it's going to run and you will see a mobile phone on your uh, machine and that's an emulated device okay it's not a real device it's an emulated device that you can run uh, apps on and test them right okay here it is you just wait a little bit the first time it's going to run is going to take a little bit of time and uh, basically it is going to run and once it runs you'll be able to see uh, the device uh, the, the, the your app running here all right so what's new it seems that the cosmetics wise it looks a little bit different and you're able to create a device you create an app uh, simply and that was the case even in the in the previous versions um let's do print something to the log so i'll do a log d tab 
and then basically it needs a tag i'll just say demo and then on create just so basically when the app first runs it's going to run this file which is the main activity and uh, the file uh, i'm going to print something to the log just to show that something is happening right so basically right now the device is going to run but i didn't run my app yet right so let's wait until the device runs all right it's still loading and then once it's done loading then we just go ahead and run our app so let's see mm -hmm. all right so that's this what else is there i think also the layout if you look at the layout this is what the layout looks like and we have videos that talk about that but just i'm uh, looking at the latest uh, Android Studio to see what's new and it seems that the skin of it is different and as we go in the course we will see um, what other features have been added okay so let's see so here it is it did run I should see a mobile phone so here is the phone is ready you see here it already ran now when I click on the play sign here you will see now it's gonna run my app it's building the app and then it's gonna push the app from uh, your computer onto the emulator so that it can run all right so now the app is going to run and it's going to say hello world and then i will show you where the log is so let's see it's running right now and then uh it's building 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 it might take a little bit longer on or maybe shorter based on how powerful the machine that you're running this on all right launching on device and which device you see here there is a list and basically i only have one device so here it is and you can see that it did run it says hello world now where is the log you see this cat log cat here it is and wait a little and make sure to pick your device right and then it should show uh the log cat so here it is see it's doing stuff now i can search for the word demo which is the tag that i put here and you could see the on create did, did print all right so here is the on create that did get printed and so on or i could even search for on create if i want on create you see here i'm searching for it and it shows me on create so that's that's the log so basically if you want to print something to the log you can do it through uh here and you can delete stuff from the log you can run the app again let's say we rerun the app again the app is going to run again and click on look at here is look at and you see here is the on create being printed which whatever i'm printing here all right so this shows you a quick very very quick overview of running an app uh, and creating a project please let me know if you have any questions thank you